Hey guys, what's up? We are in my plant room and uh, I did some rearranging back there. My exo tank that was originally up here is now back there and I wanted it behind me because I think the lighting is a little bit better right now um, with it back there. But I honestly didn't even want to film this video because I've just been feeling pretty discouraged with my Thai constellation tissue cultures. Um, I don't know what it is. They are just so difficult to not <laughs> end up with root rot. Um, but yeah, I think it's been like, has it been three weeks, three and a half weeks, something like that. And um, I'm just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna get right into this video and I'm gonna show you what they look like, where we're at, and um, I guess what I'm gonna do moving forward. <laughs> if I even wanna continue doing anything with them. But um, yeah, let's get into this video. All right, so let's start with um, these Thai constellations. I am now left with, actually I'm left with one. <laughs> I'm left with one because the other one is currently disintegrating before my eyes and I will show you in just a brief moment. Um, originally I had two Thai constellations that were really well rooted and I had placed them in soil and obviously they rotted because I had accidentally overwatered them. Then I got these guys as replacements <clears throat> and um, I put them in ponds thinking that it's in ponds, I can't possibly overwater them because you know there's like a like a drainage hole, water is just going to go through and I checked in on it and then it just started to rot as well. So I pulled them out, I think last week, and this is where we're at. I put them in moss because I figured it's in moss, right? Like you can't really mess that up, but you can. So this is what we're working with. I guess we'll start off with um, a little bit of a backstory, um, which is I originally started off with two Thai constellations and I had placed them in soil and they were doing okay and I'm pretty sure I had killed it because I over watered them and now I'm starting to think that maybe I didn't and they just died just because um, they're prone to root rot and um, yeah so these guys were given to me and I had placed them in ponds actually and I figured it's in ponds it's not going to be an issue um, obviously it was an issue because <laughs> this is what's left of one of them it's like nothing there's like nothing there <laughs> this is like the uh the node so i don't know that that was actually like one of the four that i got and then there's this one and you know you kind of think that you have hope but you don't because it actually looks like this <laughs> and I don't know what I'm going to do with that. At this point, I'm even considering to water root this, but I mean, do I even have a cup that's um, shallow enough to kind of put this in? Like, will anything even grow from this? I don't know. I just I have very little faith right now, and I just think Thai constellations are so annoying. <laughs> they're so annoying I actually have a full plant back there and it only has one leaf it has lots of roots but it hasn't given me a new leaf in like a year so Thai constellations you guys hate me I don't know what your deal is because monstera albos they just they grow <laughs> so um yeah so I really didn't even want to film this video because it's just a whole lot of failures when it comes to the Thai constellation but like these philodendron bilitis they're doing great like they're happy and I'm happy that they're happy I have new growth I have lots of roots there's no variegation on them yet but hey man it'll happen and which ones are these I think there's some bilitis in here too and they're doing fine <laughs> I just don't get it um, and I even have a Florida beauty that has no variegation but that's okay it'll come later 
Like, what is happening? I've even grown plants from a chunk, like a stump and something that has like a little bit of a root. I can't even, I, I don't know. So anyways, um, my seller did give me one more Thai constellation to work with and I am super discouraged. <laughs> like, I just don't even want to deal with it right now. Um, it has, honestly, the roots on this guy looks like, like it's not going to survive. Um, so I gotta, I gotta work with it today. So, uh. I guess I'll show you what I'll do with them. I did pick up some new medium uh, for this Thai constellation. I'm actually going to be working with um, Stratum. Um, I, I see it floating around on like a lot of Facebook groups saying that they work wonders and they, you know, they help plants to root. So that's what we're going to be working with today. And I also have some philodendron beauties as well so i don't know if you can see this but the variegation on it looks pretty legit um you can't see that but anyways i'll take you guys downstairs show you how i'm gonna work with these things today and document their growth and my failures because that's what we do here on um youtube but uh <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, I'm just really bummed out right now um, because coming back to these, I don't even know what you would call them. They're just, they're done. Like I'm very over it. But at least I have these philodendrons to make me happy. The relegations look pretty good. So we'll see how they grow and uh, I'll take you guys downstairs. <laughs> All right, so before I go ahead and... Um, take it out of its container. I'll show you what it looks like right now. Um, this one is a Thai constellation. It has several leaves. However, I don't think you can see, but the, um, the roots on this is not very much. So this one concerns me a little bit. And I have these two Florida beauties. Um, it's very hard for you to see the variegation on this, but it is there. So... I don't have any issues with philodendrons. It's just the um, the Thai constellation gives me grief. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys downstairs and um, you know just rinse them, and I'll be back to show you what new media I'm gonna be using to pot these guys up. All right, so I'm back with my tissue cultures. They have just been soaking for a little bit, so I am going to dry them off and pull them out of this um, diluted hydrogen peroxide. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by how this little dinky root looks uh, not very promising. See how small it is? It's tiny. Yeah, I don't know. I have very little faith, to be honest. I have very little faith in this guy. Um, I mean, it looks big, it looks, you know, looks good, but uh, I'm almost tempted to try to water root this as opposed to um, putting it in its new medium, but we'll see. Um, and these Florida beauties look very variegated. Check them out. They're nicely variegated. They don't have as much roots as my other Florida beauties did, but I mean, the variegation looks really good though. So this is what I'm working with right now. And I'm just gonna let this kind of dry off before I shove it into dirt and whatnot. So I'm gonna let it kind of just sunbathe and dry off for a little bit and I can show you this guy right over here. So this has been floating around on some Facebook groups for a little bit and this is the um, Stratum by the brand Fluval. Fluval? I don't know. But in any case, this is supposed to help stimulate plant growth. So 
fingers crossed like I swear if this one dies like I just I quit like I'm actually just gonna quit on um, tissue cost uh, tissue cultures and tie constellations but in any case this is supposed to be um, promoting a lot of growth for my plants and there have been some people that have shown some success with um, with using this on their tie constellations so I really hope that's what's gonna happen here so I've gone ahead and put some in a little sauce container <laughs> uh, I did pre soak it earlier and then I try to rinse it but then every time I would continue to rinse it it would just um, continue to not run clear <laughs> so I quit um, I gave up on that so this is where it's going to be and I'm just gonna stick this right in we're just gonna hope that this works so now that the um, the tie constellation is in its place I'm gonna work on these guys right here now when you're working with tissue cultures like this, they do grow in clusters, so I'm actually going to go off camera and try to separate them and split them up as best as I can, making sure that the roots are still, you know, intact. Florida beauties are, you know, they're climbers, so this shouldn't be too difficult to kind of, I guess, like pull apart the roots. It's like, look at this. So I might be able to get a couple of good ones. But um, yeah, I'm going to go off camera and pot these guys up. And if there's anything interesting to show you, I'll just pop in and let you guys see. So I'll be right back. That was a little bit more tedious than I thought it was going to be. But I did separate them into four, um, which is quite nice. So here's this one. Variegation on this looks okay. Um, honestly, the fact that it's like not all green, um, makes me pretty happy. So I ended up being able to split them into four little plantlets. I don't think you can see, so I'll try my best, but the variegations on these guys look really nice, especially this one right here. I really love that one leaf, but it has a very dinky little root. So I don't know if it's going to be able to survive, but we'll see. And um, yeah, this one still has clusters, so I'm just going to let it do its thing and separate it a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and pot these guys up in um, another one of these. It's going to be in soil with um, some extra ponds just so that it has more drainage, just because the roots on these guys are much more delicate. So I need it to be very well draining and um, yeah, I will be back. So here is the Philodendron Florida Beauty all potted up and I think you can really appreciate how variegated these guys are um, in comparison to, you know, this one that is very green, but I'm hoping that they grow just as fast and, you know, they'll just very pretty and variegated and over here we have the tie constellation and like i said i don't have very much hope for it but <laughs> you never know it might surprise me so that was a very drawn out video i'm sorry guys um I'm, but i'm trying here i really am trying to get these plants to thrive and grow so that i have some sort of success so that you guys can have success as well but um but yeah, in any case, thank you so much for tuning in and watching my, um, my failures, <laughs> um, specifically with the Thai constellations. But I appreciate you guys so much, and I hope you guys had a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!